You know, Drop 7 came out in 2009, but you know what hasn't waned? My obsession with this gall dang thing. It's the perfect game to keep idle hands busy. It's something that doesn't involve a lot of language, so you can play it while you're doing other things. Just something to keep yourself busy. Oh, almost, almost hit 600,000. The concept is simple. Each individual sphere has a number associated with it. As soon as that sphere finds itself in a row or a column with the same number, it detonates and affects the other shapes next to it. Oftentimes, setting up a chain reaction that's immensely satisfying. Two weeks later. Well, I hit 740,000, so suck on that. Now I'm trying for a million. Probably should take a break. I mean, who wants to be who wants to be that guy obsessed with a game from three years ago, right? It's just a hardcore mode. Such a beast. The problem is you never know what numbers you're going to get, so it's important that you make smart decisions early on, or else you get boxed in and screwed at the end. Four months later. Are you kidding me? 940,000 points? It was this close to a million! Fuck! Are you shitting me? Drop 7, you know what Drop 7 is? Drop 7 is life. Life. An unending torrent of bullshit. Mistakes that keep going wrong, and no matter what you do, even when you make the right decision, even when you play the right way, the numbers will f you. And when you see you f you're gonna think, well, I'll hang on for just a few more turns. Maybe it'll turn around, but it won't. It won't. It'll f you. You have f***ing ruined me. You have f***ing ruined my life. You're gonna f*** me, I'm gonna f*** you. I'm gonna get a million points, or I'm gonna die trying.